Now we'll look at two examples of subtracting fractions with like denominators. When subtracting fractions with like denominators, the denominator is going to stay the same, and then we subtract the numerators. So for seven-eighths minus three-eighths, the denominator is going to stay eight, and then for the numerator we would have seven minus three, which is equal to four. And once we find this difference, we do want to see if we can simplify this fraction. Well, four and eight do share a common factor of four. To show this, we could write four as one times four, and eight as two times four, so I can actually see the common factor of four. This step isn't necessary, but if we do show this, we can easily see why this simplifies to one half. Let's also take a look at the model for the subtraction problem. If we view this large rectangle as one unit divided into eight equal parts, this would be the model for seven-eighths. This would be the model for three-eighths. And because our denominator is the same, that means each of these pieces is the same size. So if we have seven pieces and subtract three pieces, that will leave us with four pieces, where each piece represents one-eighth, leaving us with a difference of four-eighths modeled here. So here's the model for four-eighths, but we can also show this is equal to one-half. If we divide this rectangle into two equal pieces, notice how we have half of the rectangle shaded, verifying our difference is equal to one-half. For four-ninths minus one-ninth, again the denominator is going to stay nine. The numerator is going to be four minus one, which is equal to three. But again, this fraction is going to simplify because three and nine share a common factor of three. And again, just to show this, we could write three as one times three and nine as three times three. Three over three simplifies to one, leaving us with our simplified difference of one-third. Again, if we take a look at the model for this subtraction problem, this would be the model for four-ninths. This would be the model for one-ninth. And again, because the denominator is the same, these pieces are the same size. Four pieces minus one piece would leave us three pieces. Each piece represents one-ninth. Therefore, this difference is three-ninths, modeled here. But because this entire fraction represents one, notice if we divide it into three equal pieces, here and here, this will simplify to one-third, which we had here as well. Okay, I hope this helps.